Hi. A lot of people uh, want to understand uh, differential geometry and relativity and stuff like that. But to understand anything like that, they first need, basically need to understand this. If you don't have this uh, at an intuitive level and you don't understand this, you basically can do nothing in, in, uh, in those subjects. So, and it's not that bad. So here we're going to do is uh, finding the induced metric. So we have here this function, f of r theta is equal to r cos theta, r sine theta. All right, on the left, you have the base base of the function drawn there with the r and theta coordinates, so to speak. And on the right, you have you know the x and y rectangular coordinates. This thing is just uh, psychological because at the end of the day, r2, they're both just you know patches of r2, right? Patches of r2 don't come with, a, oh, I'm rectangular or I'm, you know, Polar. All right. Now on the target space, you have the metric one zero zero one. On the base space, you have something drawn there, which imagine that you didn't have drawn there. So you just have you know a matrix, but you don't know what the entries are. All right. So now, how are we going to find the entries of that matrix? The matrix on the on the left, right? So what we do is this: first we find the partial derivative of f with respect to r. And then we find the, a, the partial derivative of f with respect to theta, which are listed there, cos theta, sine theta, and minus r, sine theta, r, cosine theta. All right. Now, to find the, the top um, left entry of that matrix on the left, what we do is we do the dot product of f r with itself, presumably using the matrix you know that's, that's up there on the, on the left, a1001. But really, we just you know pretty much know how the dot product, that matrix just tells you the regular dot product, so we know how the dot product, the usual one in R2 is taken, and that's the one that we're going to use. Now, if we're going to see that the dot product uh, induced on the base space, given that we have that the usual dot product on the target space. So, so for the first entry of the matrix on the right, the, the, the top right entry of the matrix on the right, we're going to do FR dotted with FR. And that's just, you know, multiply component-wise and add. So it's going to be cosine squared plus sine squared. And we know that to be 1. So what appears there, on that matrix right there, let me see if I can, oof, let me see if I can do better like that. It's, what appears there is 1, right? Because, you know, we got the sine squared out. Sin, cosine square was one. Now for the the second uh, entry on the top, we're going to do f r dotted with f theta, right? And when we do the dot product of those two, we find out you know that is uh, a minus r cos theta sine theta r cos theta sine theta. You add them and you end up with zero. So that's why that that uh, second entry up there is zero. Now we're going to do you know, the, the, this entry right here. All right. That entry right there is going to be, the instead of fr dotted with f theta, it's going to be f theta dotted with fr. And that's going to be 0. And finally, for the last entry, we're going to do f theta dotted with f theta. All right. And that's going to be, you know, a r squared sine uh, squared theta plus r squared cosine squared theta, which is just r squared. And thus, we see that the last uh, entry right here is r squared. All right. So now, so so we found that. So now we know that if we're working here, we'll use that, you know, as the metric matrix. All right. Let's do the second example. So f of x z is equal to cosh uh, z cosine x cosh z sine x comma z. All right. And uh, again, you know, now we have this. It's a function from R2 to R3 because it has two variables and, and three spits out. It eats two variables and spits out three variables. And then, you know, we have the, the usual metric on R3, just that three by three matrix. And I didn't draw the base space there, but I should write, you know, like an, like an X, uh, Z coordinate system. Just, you know, uh, uh, a vertical line uh, uh, crossed with a horizontal line, but, uh, label them x and z, okay? 
in an analogy to what I put up there. And then we're going to find the, the metric matrix you know, that's induced on that base from the target. And uh, what do we do? Again, the first entry is just going to be fx dotted with fz. The, the, uh, sorry, fx dotted with fx. The second one is fx dotted with fz. And this is on the top row. And on the bottom row, we'll have fx fc dotted with fx and then fz dotted with fc and when you do when you work it out you're gonna end, end up getting a cos z on the on the top um, left entry and then on the bottom right entry you're gonna get uh, zeros on the other ones and on the bottom right, right entries you're gonna get a cinch uh, z squared plus one all right uh, finally uh, as a third example you can do this uh, f of x y equals x uh, y y squared again a function from r2 to r3 and I'll leave that exercise to you another exercise that you can do is uh, parametrize with again with with x and y for example the top cap of a sphere right so again that's going to be from r2 to r3 and you can work that one out yourself all right now let's see how uh, Imagine that I just had on any one of these examples just the x y coordinates, right? Let's see how we're going to use this a uh, these metrics that we've constructed, these induced uh, metrics. So I have here an example where I have uh, two axes labeled by x and t, all right? And I got this matrix that says a of t 0 0 minus 1. And now uh, what I'm going to do is basically use this dot product to 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 get you know the 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 lengths and the stuff that you normally do with dot products with vectors located at different places on this uh, on this xt plane. So let's say at a point x y, I have the the vectors uh, 0, 1 and one zero. You see it there, the vertical one uh, zero one and the and the horizontal one one zero. All right. So now, so now, I uh, so now, I, I um, uh, so so now I I uh, plug in a. Uh, let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on. Uh, let's see. Now, 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 stupid fucks keep talking. Okay, now I am um, A of T. It's, it's going to turn out to be g of uh, 1, 0 with itself. Okay? So, so and uh, let me see the other one now. And minus 1, and minus, there's some stupid fucks talking here. And minus 1 is, is, um, 0, 1 with itself. G of that. And then, you know, the 0 entries are 1, 0 with, with 0, 1 and 0, a 1 with 1, 0. All right. Yeah, okay. So... So yeah, so, some people keep talking. They don't let me record. Anyways, uh, so so you see it there. You see what the inner product is. I'll let you work that uh, those examples by yourself and see what you can get uh, afterwards.